everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jordan and I make healthy lifestyle videos mainly about eating and cooking really yummy plant-based food that makes me feel really good inside. Also, I make videos about just kind of living a natural, more holistic lifestyle. I upload every Sunday, so if you're not yet, make sure you subscribe for free by clicking the red subscribe button down below so you don't miss my videos. And like this video if you want to see more like it. Today I wanted to share with you how I spend just kind of a typical healthy day, but this one is really inspired by spring. So it's definitely warmer here in Ohio. I live in central Ohio and we've already had some 80 degree days, which is incredible. I'm so ready for summer, but spring Spring really inspires me in so many ways. It was kind of that time of year that a few years ago, I was first inspired to get healthy and go to farmer's markets and be out in the environment and care about the environment, which ultimately led to my diet and lifestyle changes. So every time it's spring, I get re-inspired. And this day that you're about to see includes some of the healthy things that I do in the spring just to kind of detox and get myself back into the spring spirit. If you're interested, I do some things like dry brushing, which I'll explain a little bit here in a bit, and some DIY face masks, some detox water, some healthy recipes that are spring inspired, and some gardening. So if you want to see more and hear more about that, then continue to watch. So I started out the day by lighting this new candle that I bought from Target. It's a cucumber basil candle and it's made with essential oils like basil leaf and lemon. And I loved the smell of this in my kitchen. I'm not a big fan of really floral strong scents and I think this is perfect for the kitchen because it actually smells like food, but really fresh good food. And then to go along with the candle, I cut up some slices of an English cucumber to make some cucumber detox water. Cucumber water is known to support healthy skin and it actually soothes your skin from the inside out. It helps your body really flush out toxins and maintain a healthy complexion. It's also just something special to do to add to otherwise normal boring water and I actually end up drinking a lot more water when I end up adding like cucumber or lemon or just something fancy that feels special on a day that I'm kind of pampering and detoxing anyway. It's so good to get in that extra amount of hydration. So like I said in the beginning, I was getting really inspired by spring and looking around on Pinterest just for some gardening tips. And what I ended up deciding to do this year was to plant some seeds inside instead of having to buy the seedlings later on. I think this is gonna save me a ton of money and I'm just really excited to see if I can grow some little seedlings inside. So I looked around and then kind of made a list of the ones that I wanted to go and buy and the supplies that I would need. I think this year I'm going to do my vegetables and herbs in containers out on the back porch so it'll be really easy to transfer the seedlings to the containers once they're ready to be planted outside. This is what I ended up buying. I bought some cucumber, zucchini, basil, mixed lettuce, tomatoes, and some kale. And I just wrote out a little plan for how I was gonna put them on their shelf next to a window. And what I did was I used an old baking tray that had sides on it and I put the seedlings in these little biodegradable pots. That way when I water them, I won't get the table all wet. And if I need to transport them somewhere, it's just really easy to pick up the tray. So I just bought some organic soil and put the seedlings in and got the biodegradable pots wet. And the great thing is I can just put them right into the ground when I'm done because the pots degrade in the soil. Oil. After my seeds were planted, I've never done this before, but I ordered a dry brush because I heard how amazing they were for detoxifying. And basically all you do is you just get a dry brush and you brush your skin in circular motions towards your heart. They say it stimulates the lymphatic system and it stimulates the lymph nodes, it improves digestion, can improve the appearance of cellulite and helps the cells in the body in general just remove waste. I have to say this did feel really good on my skin. So after that I showered off and then started my DIY face masks 
And this first one was a sugar scrub that had turmeric and honey and then just sugar crystals in it. And it just really exfoliated my skin and the turmeric is an anti-inflammatory. So supposed to help with redness and just to reduce the appearance of dark marks and spots on the skin. The next thing I did was an oatmeal mask and the texture was kind of funny on this. It was hard to get on my face, but once I got it all on there, it felt so good and was so hydrating and calming for my skin. I really liked this mask and I'm definitely going to be making it again. That's me laughing because the oatmeal kept dropping onto my shirt and I just let it go. I left it on for about 10 or 15 minutes and then just wiped it away and my skin felt so soft afterwards. Finally, to finish the day, I made a spring-inspired, really light and healthy pasta. This is a gluten-free penne pasta with tempeh bacon, some radishes, spring peas, and spring asparagus, and it's all tossed with just some lemon and garlic, and I didn't even use any olive oil. I just used some pasta water and some broth to make the sauce. I really hope you enjoyed watching this spring inspired healthy day. Let me know what your favorite things to do in the spring or just if you get inspired by spring, let me know in the comments below. And again, subscribe and like this video if you want to see more, but otherwise I will see you next week. Bye.